thing go? Does it go this far? To having Sinead O'Connor rip up a picture of the Pope and say, fight the real enemy on national television, as she did last Saturday night on Saturday Night Live. Take a look at this. In the victory of good over evil. Fight the real enemy. How far does freedom of speech go? In this country, it goes that far. NBC said they got some phone calls, but they didn't edit it out of the broadcast when it was shown later uh, in the evening in Los Angeles. Of course, if she had done that probably in Ireland, a country of her own birth, they probably would have banned her from TV after that. Uh, 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 shot her? No, well, I don't know about that. Jones is a popular New York City character who throws parties around the city. You're a big Sinead O'Connor fan. What do you think she was trying to say when she ripped up the picture of the Pope? Well, first of all, I know Sinead O'Connor, and she's come to a number of Bear Jones parties, and in person, she's a very nice person. She doesn't throw a lot of attitude. She's not a cultural vandal or anything. And I think that anyone who knows this person, I mean, when she wears a wig, she's incredibly beautiful. Okay, but so what career, was she trying to say? I mean, her head listen, just... she could be beautiful, she could be nice, but she went on what national TV, ripped I don't up a picture of the Pope, and a lot of people are upset. It was not a career move. I mean, this is a woman who has not tried to further her career in terms of being beautiful, which she could easily do. She's, she has uh, sincere feelings. I personally agree with her on, on that situation. It, what feel... do you agree with? Tell me okay. what did you agree with. I agree with her. No, but first of all, I think that anyone who believes in God, in my opinion, is a fool. I don't, I don't think the, God exists, okay? You have the, no more than Santa Claus. Hey, Richard, I don't believe in Santa Claus. The audacity, well, let me, let me, let me hear what he has to okay. say first, Steve, and then I'll get right. to you. Yes. You have, a, you have a Catholic Church which has blocked the use of contraception, South America. Is the yet. Pope the real enemy? I, I believe that the Pope, whether he meant to or not, has done tremendous evil to our, to our world. Okay, Steve Rogers, want to respond to that? I'll tell you, I'm outraged at what he just said. That bald-headed bird brain ought to fly back to Ireland with you and stay there. You shouldn't have the right. Listen, what, these, what these people are doing are using the First Amendment to tear down our values, to tear down our nation. If this country isn't good enough for you and those who proliferate that garbage, you don't belong in the United States of America. Constitution. What about freedom of what speech? About truth? Richard, what about I, truth I, I, and science? I believe in the Constitution, but the problem we have here is these individuals are you. First of all, she's not a citizen, so I don't believe she has the same well, rights that I do. I, I have to say that anybody who comes to this country does have the same rights under the Constitution I, I, when they're here. Yes, I know. That. But I just want to know where would you draw the line? Where would you limit it? Would you ban her from television? Would you ban her from coming? I would ban her from coming into this country because all. No, the point is, how far do we go with freedom of expression? You could point to advertising as okay. being sexy. I have a response for that. People of this nation could draw the line very, very easily. When Sinead O'Connor and the Madonnas of this world proliferate their garbage, the people ought to boycott the sponsors who are sponsoring their shows, hit them hard in the right. pocketbook, and that'll be the end of the proliferation. I, I, okay, I, hold on. on. Yes, there. You guys want to break up, up the table and say something about this. The Netherlands has one of this the most liberal the... pornography laws in the world, and they have one of the lowest levels Good, of go rape. Go to the Netherlands and stay they there. They have one of the lowest okay. levels of rape. Stay out of this place. Sit up, please. Speak out. You didn't get a chance in the last segment. We had to go to break. Speak out now. Yes. Now, if people are going, if you don't want to watch what Madonna's doing, what Sinead O'Connor are doing, then no, you don't have to personally do it. But, sure it, is, but it is my no, right. No. It is my right it as being a United States right, citizen. Right, it is my right. right for saying yay to Sinead O'Connor for tearing up that picture because the Pope is evil. The Pope is telling people you cannot use contraceptives. You cannot have an abortion. You can't. I mean, the Pope is. What is yeah, evil is about teaching our children what? Is is fundamentally right. That's right. You people have turned this down. A children, slip. Children, children, people. teenagers, Santa children are going to go out. They're going to have sex with you. You want them to have dying. sex no, or not? They're going to do it whether you want them to or not. And if they get pregnant, it's their right to have an listen, abortion. I don't want my sister. There you go. One more time, Walter. Oh. Thank you. Let's go to the audience Richard, for a second Richard, here. Yes, yeah, stand up, please. Speak out. All right. About the Pope always being right, I'm sort of a scientist. The Pope used to uh, beat Galileo saying that the Earth didn't revolve around the sun, so he's not always right. As far as this person who thinks that the United States and tells everybody to get out of the United States, the United States belonged to the, Ameri to the Native Americans. Okay, so you're here now. Well, get to be a globalist and think United Nations and stop chasing people away. Try to deal with people instead of chasing okay. away.
back. In these last few moments, I'd like to express myself. Thank you for joining us. You were a great audience. Thanks to the panel. And thanks to you for watching. TGIF, have a great weekend. And from all of us here to all of you, all of our best. Take care.